Hello guys, so welcome to 3D Home and um, today I'll be showing you guys something very very interesting because um, we're going to work on this floor plan you know starting from the color to the line thickness and then how to you know identify different species based on the colors inside so at the same time that means I'll be showing you how to attach color different colors to your floor plans and how to insert your grid so I'm just going to do this a bit fast so that we can cover up before you know before the time elapses. I don't want the video to be too long, so let's start without wasting much of our time. So the first thing, let's select the walls, and there's a way you can select this wall without clicking them one after the other. You do that by clicking. Um, okay, let me say this. If you want to select any component on your building, okay, first of all, click on that tool and press Ctrl A. Okay, click on the tool and press Ctrl A. So let's say we want to select the wall component. What you need to do is click on this wall tool, okay, and press on Ctrl A. Automatically, you are selecting the whole wall that has to be there, okay. So now let's change this wall from this color you are seeing to just black and white. You do that by clicking on this generic, this generic structure you are seeing. Click here and select airspace. All right. Let's look for um, airspace. We should have airspace here. Oh, it's actually Ica 26. So <laughs> some things are a bit hidden. So but we'll find it. Okay, so this is airspace. Alright. So click on airspace. Now you can see we have uh, black and white. And for the walls you're seeing beneath, this ones you're seeing here are actually the walls below this particular one. So you do that by closing these trees. Um, reference okay this is called trace reference so instead of highlighting it just make sure it's not highlighted so now you can see that um the walls are showing just the walls on this level is showing <clears throat> and for these ones that are not really showing let's say you want to have identified that there's an arc here i would love us to you know um on the trace series first this trace reference first and let's use a line tool and then pick and then pick line once you pick line click from here to here okay and then pick this up the line again let's still draw it from this point to this other point all right so now click on the all the lines okay you can highlight all of them by holding down your shift button okay now let's go inside Change it from this line to black, okay? Change it to black, and you can change the line type to dash to show that there's something there, okay? So same thing, we're doing the same thing on this other end, okay? Let's stretch this one a bit to the front, and same thing, draw your line from here to here, and from here to here, okay? Indicating that there's a beam above this don't forget before you select two objects make sure once, once you select the first one press down and hold your shift key okay now let's change this one to black and change this one to dash click ok so now let's go ahead and close our trace reference all right so now you can see let's attach one line here okay use your okay okay jet parameter let's make it black all right so this is step one all right this is step one and how do we increase the thickness how do we increase the thickness okay let's do that last let's first of all add um color to this let's add color to this for for the colors okay for the colors i've seen a lot of comments um, requesting for that so click on your field to click on field to then hold down your space button okay your space bar and click inside you can see the color now and if you want to change it to any color of your choice click on this color and select this under this pen under this fill pen click on this one select any color of your choice all right select any color of your choice so let's quickly do the same thing for all the bedrooms and then i can use this pickup parameter okay click on it click on this color then click on this eject and click here we'll have the same thing once i click on eject again click on this one we'll have the same color again and um for the kitchen let's say for the toilets 
After clicking on fill, I will hold down my spacebar button, click on the toilet, the toilet, the toilet, and hold on, let me show you something. Instead of you to go all the way of using um, pickup parameter again to change the color, once you click on fill once, click here and select the color you want, and then just go ahead and, you know, click the color. So these are the colors I want us to use for the toilet, right? For the toilet. And what about the um, ante room? You can go with any color. So this is just the basic way on how to do this. Okay. This is the basic way on how to do this. Um, simplest way, actually simplest way actually okay all right for the lines all right and if you want to change okay i think these are just the main thing and um for text or should we change everything let's quickly change everything together okay let's give this one different color and um this one different color this one this one different color Let's say the entrance porch and the terrace should have one color. Okay, should have one color. And um, the living room, um, the ante room, say living room and ante room should have one. Okay, the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's just find a different color for this. We're not supposed to have more than three colors, by the way. By the way, so this is one, two, three. So we'll look for a way and um, convert the kitchen. Let's give the kitchen and let's see the kitchen and the entrance. <laughs> okay. How many colors we have now? One, two, three, four. No. Let's make this one a bit darker. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Um, why not just let's change the functional spaces to let's change this one to the same color as this. Okay. you can drop your suggestion on the comment okay let these ones have the same color and this and this this should have the same color as um this okay and let's give it the same color yeah So let's give this one the same color as this two. So it actually depends on what you want. So let's just move to the next stage. Okay, let's move to the next stage. And um let's quickly add text to this. Okay. You do that by clicking on text and you can change the color of the text by entering here. Let's change it to this and the font type depends on what you want. And then the height of the text also depends on what you want okay so you can choose any height of your choice can we go with two let's see two how it's going to look like so let's say um for this one living room living room so i have this one here we'll change this one this one should be kitchen Let's say kitchen for this and bedroom. You double click inside actually. Okay. Bedroom. So now we can go ahead and how do I copy this? Let me show you. You click on the text. First of all, you highlight the text. You click on the text. Once you move it, once you click it to automatically follow you. And then I'll tap control once to have a copy of it. You must see a plus sign before you drop else this other one will also follow okay and um now let's click let's move this one to here change this to wc 
I'm here to attach windows on this chair WC and um, since we have other WCs here we can just copy you know to this side now how do we add um wall thickness I actually love to add wall thickness once I'm done with the setting because once there's wall thickness that's line thickness, line width. It will be a bit difficult for you to select some components. So it's better for you to finish first before you add. So you can right click. Once you right click on this, click on this through line width. Okay. You can see that the lines are showing, but not really that much. But if you want it to be very obvious, okay. If you want it to be very obvious, what you need to do is once you click on this wall, okay. Once you click on the wall, you go to this floor plan, this cut line. You notice that is this middle line, this middle line, this dot, this middle black is the one that is selected, and the thickness is 35. So let's go and change the thickness. Okay. So how do you do that? You click on option and you go to um element attributes. So under element attributes, select this pen and color. Okay, this model view. You click inside. So now move instead of this one, go all the way to here. This this black one you're seeing, this middle black you're seeing. Click on this one. And change this from 35 to 70. Okay, change it to 70. Once you're done like this, don't click OK. Click on this store as. Once you click on store as, you can see it's written as 03 architectural 100 copy. Just click store. After store, you click OK. All right. So any wall now, you can see that the thickness is very obvious now. So any wall that is using that same, um, that is using that same, um dot that that same black i just changed to 75 any wall of that type is going to actually change to that thickness i will just save as okay so you can see our thickness is very obvious now okay it's very obvious now and same thing you can change decide to use your line you can see this line is just this thing and um it's still under let's change it back to here so if you want it to be very thick all you need to do is to change it from this first one to this middle one which is 70 and once you draw a line, it will be as thick as what we selected initially. Okay, so this class is actually to you know open our eyes a bit on how to play along with um, play, um, play around with our line thickness, line width, and also how to select different colors on your species. Okay, and one interesting thing is that once this color is here, you can bring in your furniture and also move them to any side you want without it affecting um affecting your your color okay so let's say we want to use this bed okay we want to use this bed and once you paste it here you can see that it's not affected by the color in that room okay you can see that everything is still very very intact right it's still very intact so now look at our bed and our color is still there so you can decide to move your bed to any position you want and it will still be there so what if you want to change this color this bed color to black let's try something click on certain dialogues first of all click on that bed then click on certain dialogues and um bed settings layout let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see all you need to do now is i think let's go by let me show you something First of all, click on the bed, then click on certain dialogues. Then from here, which is um, preview and positioning, go all the way to bed layout settings and click them. Now, come all the way to this arrow, click on this arrow, select 2D representation. Okay, and then change the color from here, right from this green to black to any other color of your choice. Actually, you can decide to choose light one and then click OK. Automatically, your bed will change to color will change to that which you selected all right so should we stop here should we stop here all right i think the major things the major questions i saw online have answered them okay so i think we'll be stopping here today all right we'll be stopping here today so we don't take the video too long too long all right so thank you for your time and um if you have any question on or maybe say um let's say you have you want me to do something else and there's maybe there's something you've been trying to achieve and you're not getting it right i want me to work on that please drop it on the comment section and um i'll attend to you all right so see you on the next tutorial